is the Bucyrus City Council meeting for Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. Call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call, McKeever here. Myers here. Wireball here. Potter here. Sherrick Spiegel here. Young here. You have before you the June 6, 2023 regular council committee meeting minutes. I make a motion to accept them. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Spiegel, a second by Mr. Wireball. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Granting permission for visitors to speak. Hillcrest Drive, Bucyrus. On May 18, 2021, Council passed Resolution Number 218, 2021, authorizing and directing the Service Safety Director, on behalf of the City of Bucyrus, Ohio, to enter into a permanent agreement with the Bucyrus Bratwurst Festival, Inc., to provide necessary safety forces and cleaning services at no charge for the festival for the Broadhurst Festival, and to give the festival a one-year advanced notice of change to the agreement. In reviewing council meeting minutes and documents, I found the following beginning with festival year 2006 and ending with year 2023. Nine years of charges to the festival, totaling $142,950 for an average charge of $15,883.33 per festival. Six years, no charges. One year, no charge because the festival was held at the fairgrounds. One year, no information available. And one year, no charge because the festival was canceled due to COVID. Based on the average charge of 15883 the city has waived $95,299.10. However, it is safe to assume the amount waived would be higher because of increases in wages and costs over the festival years. Because of the city's financial situation, I am requesting that a one-year advance notice be given to the Bratwurst Festival, Inc. prior to the 2023 Bratwurst Festival. This notice will allow the incoming 2023-2024 Council to decide what changes, if any, will be made to the agreement. Thank you. Madam President, yes. I'd like to speak to that. Sure. We, um, when I became mayor, I, I, uh, yeah, I was surprised that we had charged that much to the Broward Festival. Being, you bring so many people in town, and it's, you know, it's uh, Bizarre's is synonymous with the Broward Festival. So, we've been trying to work with the festival. We actually made some uh, uh, agreements that um, that we would waive that in exchange that. The Browers Festival would make it much easier for local uh, groups to set up, so we'd have more of a local flavor. I think it's been a win-win situation for us. So I, I, I would not be in favor of sending that kind of a notice. I'll just go on record for that. And I, if that legislation is passed, I would be against that completely. But I think it's been working very well. So I think you can, you know, save seventeen thousand dollars. A year other places pretty quickly pretty quickly that's a very small investment given our seven million dollar plus budget um, you know I think those are some very small things that I think are wise to keep and I would recommend that City Council do that thank you thanks anybody else do we have any communications or petitions none that I've been made aware of Standing committee reports? Planning? I have nothing at this time. Public lands and buildings? Mr. McKeever? Uh, that's Mr. Wireball. <laughs> uh, that's Mr. Wireball. Wireball. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess nothing at this time. Okay. Health and safety? No report. Finance? Uh, nothing at this time. Economic development? No report, Madam President. Service? No report, but I want to say that our, our committee meeting on Thursday, we're going to address the wastewater problem. So uh, we could have, that meeting could be a little bit longer. They're going to come in and talk, are they not? 
Not, 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 we're we're going to be here. Yeah. And, 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 okay. And Tim will be here, but not not at Cages. Okay. Okay. I knew that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Traffic commission. No, but nothing to report. But we are scheduling a meeting. Is your mic on? It is not. <laughs> yes, nothing to report, Madam President. But we were uh, scheduled a meeting here first part of July. Okay. Thank you. Not scheduled yet. Not scheduled. Okay. All right. We have no reports to approve. Report of city officers, Mr. Mayor. Yes, thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Um, and uh, lots of thank yous every time we have a, a report here, but the FOP came through again. I, I know it's a fundraiser for it, but it takes so much effort to, uh, to put on a car show that has over 500 cars like that. And, uh, People come from all over. It's a lovely event, and I hope they continue. And I, those are the kind of things, like the Bratwurst Festival, that give the city character, give the city a unique, uh, a unique feeling about it. So we just need to encourage those types of events, the lapping night, those type. You know, there's so much that goes on. First Fridays, uh, they're all needed. They're all needed. Um, Jenny Gerger did a fantastic job leading safety town maybe some of you were there kevin i saw you there uh at the graduation nice graduation there um just really a wonderful event for the community and uh had a large crowd i think there's a lot of kids there this year so we thank the superintendent Britton and busiris city schools for allowing us to use the uh, elementary school and of course to all the sponsors you know had the buildings they sponsored the buildings so it was a it's a good thing um I failed to mention last time that we, uh, Chief Corwin, former Chief Corwin, was laid to rest. He died unexpectedly. A um, uh, very special person, uh, both as in the police department as an officer and moving his way up in the ranks till he finally became chief. Just, just a great guy. And then uh, in his retirement, he became a, uh, a ordained minister and he led the Methodist community here in town. If it was beloved, really, and so it was a shock to all of us. And uh, his uh, his wake, everything was very nice. And uh, our sympathies to uh, Mike's family, his wife and family. His wife is a co crestline High School class of '72 graduate, along with Mike, so they were married for a long time. So we were lucky to have Mike and his and his whole family here. Um, tomorrow I'm going. I'll be going uh, to Ohio Municipal League. Mayor's Conference, the annual Mayor's Conference has started up again uh, last year uh, for two days. And we're going to be talking about lots of good things that pertain to us. I'll give you a report when I come back. Okay. And a happy 4th of July to everyone. Thank you. Anybody have any questions for the Mayor? Safety Service Director report? I got Jeff's report here. Oh, I'm here. sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, you have... A motion for appointments to the Stormwater Utility oh, Appeals Board. Yes. Okay. Thank I'll you for that. Motion. That was in that was in the report here, <laughs> Jess. But I'm glad you've. That's perfect. Yep. Okay. So I have a motion by Mr. Wireball. And I need a second. I'll second. Yes. A motion by Mr. McKeever. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I apologize. That's fine. No, we're working with ODNR. Uh, we have been for years on the Neff Reservoir, uh, so we have a report there. We'd like to refer that. Uh, talk about that Thursday night and uh, the county line, water line expansion also to service and finance. Uh, NEF would go to public lands and buildings and finance. And you already talked about stormwater water appeals. Um, check the website, Bonnie and Blaine have done a great job on there on uh, lots of good things on there as well as our Facebook page. Just to remind you that. Um, trash will be picked up Monday, July 3rd. It's a work day for us. Tuesday, however, the 4th, is a holiday. There will be no trash pickup that day. We're going to be moved to Wednesday. Uh, the Mill and Pave project is underway, as you can see. And uh, S South Sandusky Avenue had some repairs done. Uh, that'll hopefully last us until o uh, Ohio um, ODOT comes in and does their thing in, in about five years to repave that. And the list of streets is on the city website that is going to be done. Uh, we met with the commissioners last week on the county water line expansion programs. We'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. Um, Bonnie and Blaine have been putting pictures on Facebook uh, of, about the splash pad 
uh, progress. It's moving along very well. Uh, we will post a, uh, a date for a ribbon cutting. Just waiting for a few things to come together. Now, Qantas has already advertised June that date as June 30th. June 30th. Well, 3 okay. p.m. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, okay. Well, the reason I didn't say, I, you know, because I'm not going to be in town June 30th. And I want to see if he can do it to a different They've time. had it on Facebook for about a week now, so they've got a ton of people planning on being there that well, date and time. Well, let's see about that, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's going to be June 30th then. All right. Um, thanks to Kiwanis. They've done just a great job. If you look at the park, you look at look at All Miller Park, Lions Park. Look, look at the names out there. Lions, what they've done for Lions Park, Lions Field. Think of Rotary, Field of Dreams. Um, and now the Kiwanis splash pad and the pickleball courts, you know. They pick up um, a lot of things that the city can't afford to do here. So we should never take that for granted and always be grateful and join the service organization to thank them um, and help out. The Nevada water line is uh, nearly done. Um, driven excavation is, uh, is, was the contract, done a fantastic job. Again, they're gonna be opening, be active very soon. We'll, Get, we're just doing some testing right now, a couple of things to tie together. Uh, solid Waste Department has a new employee starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Uh, and uh, I, as I mentioned early, earlier about uh, Neff Reservoir, ODNR was here on June 8th. We're going to talk about that on, um, on Thursday night. Uh, they're also, the county line, uh, we met with commissioners, we, the county line agreement um, will need to be approved by council. It's going to be changed. We're the ones that are going to be the contractors now. They want us to go to this. So we'll have to refer that and Brian will have the legislation ready. And what we'd like to have uh, so we can get going on that uh, is a meeting right after Thursday's meetings to be able to get that approved. So we'll have all that ready to go. Uh, we, we would have had it ready tonight, but there's about a $4,000 difference in the, uh, in the amounts that that's what is being spent. So we're just trying to work that out. Um, and then also at the full council meeting, uh, we would like you to be able to approve the Stetzer Road project. It's ready to go out to bid. So those two things would be on, on the full meeting agenda. Okay, does the Stetzer Road need to be referred? Um, it's, we've, it should be, in committee. Should be already, Sorry, in it's committee. already an open project. Okay. Yeah, it should be an open project, yes. So I think we got everything referred and we've got the meeting plan. I think I've got everything done that we need to do here. Okay, all right, yeah. so we have a motion for the NEF Reservoir to Public Lands and Buildings and Finance. So I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Spiegel. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. We also have the referral for the county water line expansion to service and finance. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. And law director report. The law director's report dated 6-19-23, I have prepared a draft of the Kiwanis Splash Pad Maintenance Agreement, which I have attached hereto for your review. I have also forwarded a copy of the same to Kiwanis President Dane Kennedy for review by their board. Item 2, under Ohio law, bicycles with a gas engine are required to be registered with the Bureau of Motor Vehicles and have a rear license plate. Currently, electric bicycles are not required to be registered and licensed. Further, to operate a gas-powered bicycle, one must possess a valid license. Ohio Revised Code 4511.512 provides authority to local government to regulate or prohibit electric personal mobility devices, i.e. electric wheelchairs, on public streets, highways, sidewalks, paths, and bike paths. Thus, if council so desired, the city could establish regulations pertaining to electric personal mobility mobility devices and define what this term includes. It is important to remember, however, no operator of an electric personal assistive mobility device shall do any of the following. One, fail to yield to the right of way to all pedestrians and human powered vehicles at all times. Two, fail to give an audible signal before overtaking and passing a pedestrian. Three, operate the device at night unless the device or its operator is equipped with or wearing both of the following. A, a lamp pointing to the front that emits a white light visible from a distance of not less than 500 feet. B, a red reflector facing the rear that is visible from all distances from 100 feet to 600 feet when directly in front of lawful lower 
of lawful lower beams of headlamps on a motor vehicle. Four, operate the device on any portion of a street or highway that has an established speed limit of 55 miles per hour or more. Five, operate the device upon any path set aside for the exclusive use of pedestrians or other specialized use when an appropriate sign giving notice to the specialized use is posted on the path. Six, if under 18 years of age, operate the device unless wearing a protective helmet on the person's head with a chin strap properly fastened. And seven, if under 16 years of age, operate the device unless during the operation the person is under the direct visual and audible supervision of another person who is 18 years of age or older and is responsible for the immediate care of the person under 16 years of age. Okay. You have the maintenance agreement for review. That's going to be, we can discuss that Thursday. I do want to make sure. a statement. During the car show, <laughs> I happened to come down Walnut Street, and right at the Sunoco station, there was a four-wheeler with two kids on it during the car show. You know, of course, I tried to call the police department, and of course, I didn't dial 911. I dialed the regular number because it was an emergency. And of course they were swamped and they couldn't get to it. But right there, that's why we need to do something about these four wheelers, especially <laughs> on, a, on the main street like that, on Hopley and Walnut, that very busy, especially since downtown's closed. Don't need somebody to get in an accident, so. Yeah, but if I can make a suggestion there. Right. What if we, why don't we just do, uh, to start, uh, put something in our utility bill and let people know that what's legal and what's not legal. Because uh, I'm sure a lot of them probably don't know whether they're legal or not. And I know where I live, you know, I've got four-wheelers that go down Plum Street all the time, and scooters, and, you know, it's it's going to be an issue. Right. So and If you say the police department is swamped, regardless of whether we have an ordinance against it or not, yeah. you know, I mean, that's... I know, but if we could... We'll discuss it in health and safety, but I just wanted to bring it up. <laughs> just as we talked about it the week before, I just like wasn't even trying to look for it, and there it was. And Let me know if you want us to do anything while you discuss it in health and safety. Sure. Well, I know at our last, if I could, at our last meeting when we did discuss it, I had asked uh, just to have the police department notified, and I don't know if that's happened or not, just to try to be on the lookout for the illegal activities yes. and try to yes. maybe yeah. curtail some of that. Yeah, they, I, they are. They are. But, you know, you we have uh, 90 miles of streets yeah. in, in the city, not even including alleys. And if you have three officers on duty, they're each responsible for 30 miles, do you think of it? So it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to cover. So and a lot of times by the time they get there, they're gone. those people are gone. Yeah. So it's, but it's a serious issue. I just, I just have one comment. Uh, all we can do as council is give the police department uh, the tools by passing the legislation. You know, right. if they're swamped and they can't make it, then they can't. You know, uh, same with uh, derelict houses and things. All we can do is give the law director the tools, which I don't think we have yet, but we need to. So, you know, that's what we need to kind of focus on. Uh, I agree. We can't say. Well, they're not going to get to an AM. Well, they no, might not. I agree with you. We've got to do the, but that's, give them the that's tools. That's our job. We do our job and let them worry about it. Right. So. Okay. Anybody else? Ms. Lewis? Hello, council persons and citizens of Bucyrus. <clears throat> Come tomorrow, summer will be officially upon us. So now is the time to get your yearly dose of vitamin D. It is also a time to enjoy our local parks and pools. Along with the arrival of increased outdoor activities, the arrival of summer also brings a season of orange safety cones. Speaking of this, the city would like to assist the Crawford County Commissioners in the process of running water lines to various areas throughout the county, Sulphur Springs, Detzer Road, and Osceola. Essentially, because the city of Bucyrus is more experienced with going out to bid with contractors, we would be officially taking over the projects, but our financial costs will not increase. The county will be writing us reimbursement checks for their portion of the projects. We would need to create a local fiscal recovery special revenue fund to receive that revenue into, uh, appropriate that money into the fund, and then at a future date, but within the same fiscal year, reimburse the money spent via that new fund uh, to appropriate to the appropriate enterprise funds. 
I would like to refer to Finance Committee the creation of a local fiscal recovery special revenue fund. I would also like to refer to Finance Committee appropriations to that fund. Thank you. Miss mm -hmm. Lewis? Yeah. Um, so when, when that happens, will the county be paying us money ahead of time before we pay a contractor, or will they be paying us back after we pay a contractor? We just spoke with them, so they will be paying us back after we pay the contractor but monthly so it shouldn't so where is that money coming from that we're going to pay in, until we get reimbursed it would come from the enterprise funds of water okay and that fund can sustain that type of activity mm -hmm. at least for a month <laughs> until we get reimbursed <laughs> any other questions all right i have a referral for the creation of the local fiscal recovery special revenue fund to finance so moved second I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Wireball. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. I also have a referral for appropriations to local fiscal recovery fund, I'm sorry, recovery revenue fund to finance. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever. Young. A second by Mr. Young. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, you have the treasurer's report. We have a motion to accept and file. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Potter, a second by Mr. Wireball. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have nothing from Chief Ossenheimer, and you also have the report summary for the month of May from the fire department. We have a motion to accept and file. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Spiegel, a second by Mr. Young. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Any motion to accept the city officer's reports as presented? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Wireball. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Granting permission for visitors to speak on standing or special committee reports and city officer reports. Item number one in the interim law director's report okay. states that a draft of the Kiwanis splash pad maintenance agreement was prepared and attached to his report for review. This agreement was not attached to his report that was posted um, on documents on demand. And at this time, if I could make a public records request for a copy of that agreement. And then I'm questioning, was the agreement attached to his report that was provided to the council members? You all have that? Yep. Okay, great. Secondly, Dora, at the June 6, 2023 council meeting, I brought to council's attention that the required signs for the designated outdoor refreshment area, also known as Dora, signs indicating no alcohol beyond this point were not posted. At that time, Councilperson Myers asked if Interim Law Director Gernert would follow up on the matter to which Gernert agreed. Since there's nothing in Mr. Gernert's report tonight on the Dora signs, does anybody know if he followed up on that matter? No, but I will be happy to call him tonight and get an answer and let you know. Okay, because you know, we made the Dora permanent six months yeah. ago. I'll follow through with that and let you know. Thank you. And here, Vicki, I'll get this to you. Okay, right now. great. Thank you. Consideration for proposed legislation for the first time. All right, proposed ordinance 26-2023, amending and supplementing ordinance number 66-2022, being the annual appropriations ordinance for 2023 by appropriating from, from unappropriated general funds a sum of $2,000 to the personal services line item and $1,000 to the materials and supplies line item within, with all line items being within the law director category within the program seven general government subparagraph and declaring an emergency. And proposed resolution 217-2023, authorizing and directing the Public Service Safety Director of the City of Usaris, Ohio, to ban all vehicular traffic, including bicycles and skateboards, except authorized emergency personnel for the 2023 Bucyrus Bratwurst Festival, according to the schedule set forth herein, further authorizing and directing the Chief of Police to make necessary arrangements for the rerouting of traffic on federal, state, and local highways and roadways. 
All right, may I have a motion to accept as the first reading? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Granting permission for the public to speak on legislation read for the first time. Thank you to Sean, 1108 Hillcrest Drive, Usaris. Resolution number 217-2023, Bratwurst Festival Street Closures. The first whereas clause refers to Exhibit A attached. There was no exhibit A attached to this resolution that was posted on documents on demand. Just checking to make sure your exhibit A is attached to the resolution that you're approving tonight on the street closures. There is no exhibit. Okay. Um, secondly, page three of resolution 217 recites two section threes. So um, I would suggest page two. Page two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you are correct. I meant to say page two, not page three. Page two recites two section threes. So the second section three, we want to start with the four and just you have to change them all after that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Referring back to originating committee, proposed ordinance 26-2022. That's wrong. Proposed ordinance 26-2023. Appropriations referred back to the finance and proposed resolution 217-2023. Broutworth Street closures referred back to health and safety. Committee report on pending legislation finance. Oh, proposed <laughs> ordinance. I was thinking of something. Proposed ordinance 26 2023 uh, finance is favorable to the appropriations. Health and safety. Health and safety is favorable to proposed resolution 217 2023. Well, that's what I was thinking about. Do we have to make that motion? With, with those corrections. corrections, with corrections. That's why I was thinking about when I was <laughs> favorable with the addition of addendum A, which was in the packet for, I believe, for the previous health and safety meeting. But it wasn't in the packet. Wasn't in tonight. tonight, correct. And the corrections of the bullet points. And the bullet points, yes. Well, the numbers, yeah, the, uh, paragraph numbers. <clears throat> All right, further consideration of pending legislation. Ordinance number 26-2023 for the second and third readings of proposed ordinance 26-2023. Do I hear a motion to suspend the rules, waive the readings of the caption and text, and declare an emergency? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Wireball. McKeever. Yes. Wireball. Yes. Potter. Yes. Sherrick. Spiegel. Yes. Young. Yes. Myers. Yes. Do I hear a motion to adopt proposed ordinance 26-2023? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Spiegel, a second by Mr. Young. Spiegel. Yes. Young. Yes. McKeever. Yes. Myers. Yes. Wireball. Yes. Potter. Yes. Sherrick. Ordinance 26-2023 is duly adopted. Do we have any old or unfinished business? Do we have any new or miscellaneous business? Madam President, I just yes. uh, should have mentioned in my uh, report that Sunday is going to be uh, the cemetery walk at Oakwood Cemetery. It hasn't been done in a couple of years. So it goes from one to four. And I think there's 10, uh, 10 of the people that are buried there are portrayed by local actors, local citizens, actually. So it's a lot of fun. I was able to be take part in it twice. I've always uh, found it just amazing to do. It's one to four. There will be transportation and parking, um, so you don't have to walk around the cemetery. And uh, I always like to quote my friend Rob Neff on this. I thought it was a very wonderful quote. He said, this is a good time to get to know who you owe. So you think about it. These are people. I know Chief Mater is on it, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, one of the Fishers. Uh, some of the names you might recognize, and maybe some that you don't. So it's, it's well worth the time. One to four, Oakwood Cemetery. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. May I have a motion to excuse Ms. Sherrick? So moved. 
I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have referrals, appointments to the Stormwater Utility Appeals Board to service, Neff Reservoir to Public Lands and Buildings and Finance, County Water Line Expansion to service and finance, creation of a local fiscal recovery special revenue fund to finance, and appropriations to local fiscal recovery revenue fund to finance. So are there any other referrals? So is there a Euclid Avenue Street? We, no, we solved that. that. Yep. Oh, there. Anybody have anything else? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Potter. We are adjourned at 730. Thank you.